there are many free blogging sites available over the internet. For example, Blogger, WordPress, Live Journal, EduBlogs, etc. In this video, we will create a blog using Blogger. Blogger is a blog publishing service by Google on which a user can have up to 100 blogs per account. To begin, in your browser type www.blogger.com A login page will appear asking us to sign in into Gmail or Google account. Note, for Blogger we need a Gmail address. If we don't have one, then we can create it by clicking on Create an account. Since we have a Gmail account, I will type in the Gmail address and password and then click on Sign In. A page will appear asking us to confirm our profile. A profile means the details which are visible to the readers. A sample appears showing us the profile that readers will see when they view our blog. For now, we will create a limited blogger profile. Type in a profile name for your blogger account here. This profile name appears whenever we comment on someone's blog. Now, click on Continue to Blogger. The page that appears is our dashboard. A dashboard is a page having the controls of our blog. It is the control center which allows us to do various tasks such as create a new blog, a new post, adding other blogs to the reading list, etc. Here, we can edit or update our information. We will see dashboard in detail in the later videos. Notice, we can see our profile name on the left-hand side of the screen. Click on New Blog to start creating one. A pop-up box appears asking us to type in a title, address and choose a template. Here the title means the title of our blog. For example, let's name this blog as Training Teachers in ICT. Next is the address, which means the link to our blog which we can share with others, so that they can visit our blog on their computer. Remember, whenever we type in an address for our blog, it should end with .blogspot.com. For example, if I want to put a blog title as my address, then I will type in Teacher training in ict.blogspot.com On the right we can see whether the typed address is available or has already been taken by someone. Do not add space between words in the blog address because the system considers it incorrect. The last thing is the template, which means the design, color and font of our blog. Browse through the templates and then click to select the template you prefer for your blog. Now that we have added title and address to the blog and selected a template, let's click on Create Blog.
our first blog has now been created. This is how our dashboard looks after we have created our blog. To view our blog, let us click the View Blog button.